from 15th to 17th September 2014, 200 young people drawn from youth-led organization movements across the globe, African Union member states, AU organs, regional economic communities, development partners and civil society organizations met in Nairobi, Kenya to address the rising impact of conflict on the socio-economic development of the continent, its impact on Africa's increasingly youthful population, and to examine and recommend through a youthful perspective practical solutions needed to silence the guns in Africa. This forum was organized by the African Governance Architecture, AGA, as part of its annual dialogue series on democratic governance trends in Africa. Last year was the beginning of uh, youth consultation to DG Trends. Uh, and this year is a tremendous improvement on, on last year. What led to starting uh, youth consultations? Uh, the, the idea of the youth consultation basically was uh, from the realization uh, of the fact that you cannot have uh, any serious conversation on improving governance on the continent without involving young people. Uh, if you look at the numbers, 60%, uh, if not more, of the African population is youth. Uh, they are the greatest beneficiaries of whatever change we make in our democratic governance processes. So it is important that we begin to factor their own opinions, uh, point of view, their insights uh, into the work that we do. Um, last year, the participants at the youth consultation had requested that they would not want to be coming every year for just uh, meetings and all of that, but that they want something strategic that says that this is how the Department of Political Affairs within the African Union wants to engage them on democracy, on human rights, on constitutionalism and rule of law, on humanitarian assistance. And so for us, the way to interpret that is to come up with a strategy, a broad strategy on youth engagement in democracy elections and governance. Um, we started to piece together the conversations from the online uh, conversations we had. We also had it, the consultations we had in the regional uh, in the regions we had in the East and we had in Southern Africa and of course we had a Google Hangout for West. And so we're already piecing all of this together to have what we call a draft strategy which we, uh, participants are reviewing uh, at the 2014 Youth Consultation. Overall, the goal is to say that if we intend to silence the gun by 2020 uh, and we already recognize that why we are in the state that we are is because there are governance deficits on the continent. How do we begin to engage young people in strengthening governance? Uh, so for us, this strategy is one, our response to uh, silencing the guns by 2020, but also uh, one of the strategic ways of now bridging the gap of young people uh, and youth organizations on the ground in member states or in the region uh, to the work of the AU at the continental level. Why is the UNDP supporting uh, the Digital Trends Youth Consultation? We felt like the best way for us to start internalizing that global youth strategy would be to develop first a partnership with the African Union since they are the de facto institution on the continent. But also through that partnership, uh, try and start looking at how to address some of the issues affecting member states when they want to develop policies and programs uh, to deal with youth issues, right? Youth unemployment participation. Uh, so the DG trend came as a result of us thinking through ways of influencing regional dialogue. So we have the high level dialogue coming up, coming up in, in the car. Um, it, is, it is given that young people would not be given the same level of engagement platform as they have here. So we thought having a, a separate platform, a separate consultation, where we bring smart young people from every part of Africa, and that's why you see young people here from Egypt, Tunisia, Mauritius, Cameroon, Nigeria, Ghana, but create a separate platform for them to see and think and reflect on what their priorities are so that um, when they come out with a recommendation that is then sent to, 
to Senegal, these recommendations would be considered as part of their voice in the high level process. So uh, in UNDP, we are all about including an in inclusive development. So we feel this is a, a critical component of inclusive um, dialogue and development. And that's why we, we deliberately um, decided to support, support the initiative. It is a vital component of our own implementation, of our own new strategy, uh, which happens to align itself very well with what the, the AU and the African Union uh, Youth Charter is all about. So this is, this, is, um, this is something we take very serious at the United Nations Development Program. Following deliberations on current trends, challenges, prospects and opportunities for women in democratic governance and peace building, the following key issues emerged. It was acknowledged that an estimated 60% of the overall African population, Africa's youth are at the heart of Africa's violent conflicts, which has in recent years been exacerbated by acute governance deficit which has hindered development and triggered violent conflicts on the continent. That Africa's greatest resource is its youthful population and that through their active and full participation, Africans can surmount the difficulties that lie ahead. The participants divided the five African governance architecture clusters which include democracy, governance, humanitarian assistance, constitutionalism and rule of law, human rights and transitional justice. The following are the recommendations. On strengthening democratic governance to silence the guns in Africa, one, the AGA Secretariat should ensure interdepartmental and multi-sectoral partnerships with relevant African Union organs and institutions, civil society, development partners and media in the implementation of the AGA YES. Such partnerships must ensure the active involvement of the Economic, Social and Cultural Council of the Africa Union. 2. The AU should partner and support national and regional youth structures to promote ratification and domestication, as well as assessment and reporting on compliance of AU shared values, an instrument as a key means of silencing the guns on the continent. On peace building and preventive diplomacy, the AU should encourage and support member states to put in place structures that foster and strengthen conflict resolution, peacemaking and peace building at national, regional and continental levels. Member states emerging from conflicts should make deliberate efforts to ensure that young people participate and are included in preventive diplomacy, conflict resolution, mediation and post-conflict reconstruction and development efforts. For socio-economic development for sustainable peace, AU member states should develop and or strengthen national youth structures to create opportunities for innovation, entrepreneurship, jobs and engagement in public service. African Union Youth AUY program should take a lead in enhancing the capacity of young people across the continent to effectively engage and participate in public service and entrepreneurship. For implementation mechanism and follow-up, the AU should strengthen its communication, media outreach, and citizen engagement strategies to ensure that they are user-friendly, accessible, and impact-oriented. The AU should partner and collaborate with young researchers and youth-oriented think tanks in data and knowledge generation, management and dissemination on democratic governance trends, challenges, prospects and opportunities in Africa. The AGA Secretariat should coordinate the implementation of the recommendations as well as the AU Youth Engagement Strategy.